and I am your host, Nathan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you all to How Do We Identify a False Prophet? This is the game show that brings you the ultimate challenge in spiritual discernment, where we put to the test those people who claim they are, as the Apostle Peter described, holy men of God who spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Did they really receive messages from God about the future? Let's find out. I'd like you to join me now in welcoming our contestants. You all know the rules. No prophetic predictions will be considered that are open dated, meaning prophecies that have no certain time frame in which to be fulfilled, or prophecies that can be self-fulfilling, or prophecies that are dependent upon conditions. Only prophetic predictions that are closed dated and unconditional will be accepted. All of our questions will be drawn from the Holy Bible. And so, tonight's categories will include Signs of the End Times Put to the Test By Any Other Name Potpourri And Potent Potables Okay, our contestants are set. Let's begin the game with our first category. Signs of the End Times Question Jesus in his Olivet Discourse warned that in the end times, false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive. How many times in Matthew 24 did Jesus make that warning? Yolanda has the correct answer, three. Jesus' number one sign that would point to his soon return was that there be a proliferation of false prophets. He warned, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly, they are ferocious wolves. Um, Theo, you, you answered one and a half? Well, if there's two cups of olives in an olive loaf, then I expect you'd only need one and a half in an Olivet loaf. Okay. And now for our second category, put to the test. Question. Moses provided the test. A true prophet can be distinguished from a false prophet based on the accuracy of their prophecies. Therefore, a prophet of God has to be accurate what percent of the time? 100% yes, Pepe has the correct answer. Uh, Theo, just curious, why 2%? Because back in that day, you could get dang nigh anything two for a cent. <laughs> Moving on to our next category, by any other name. Question. A second test was provided by the Apostle John. In order to test the spirits, so to speak, the prophet has to acknowledge that for Jesus Christ to have come from God, he must have first come in the what? Yolanda has the correct answer. A true follower of Jesus acknowledges that the Son of God came to earth as a man in the flesh. Theo, do you really believe that Jesus came to earth in a truck? Well, what else a carpenter gonna haul his stuff in? Our next category is... Potpourri. This is the lightning round. I will make a quick series of true-false statements related to other types of tests that be given to discern a false prophet. You will hit true for a true prophet of God and false for a false prophet of God. Ready? The prophet can also speak in the name of Allah or Betrayah or Vishnu and not necessarily the God of the Bible. The prophet tells you that you can be saved by putting your faith in people other than Jesus, such as Mary, the mother of Jesus. The prophet lives a sinful life, not committed to holiness. The prophet's followers are motivated by worldly living and do not produce spiritual fruit. The prophet focuses on self-engrandizing visions about personal trips back and forth to heaven and hell. The prophet never talks about sin or makes a call for repentance. The prophet appears greedy for money. The prophet focuses on himself or the Antichrist or on the sensational and not on Jesus Christ. And that's it for the speed round. By the way, every answer should have been false. Why, Theo, you didn't answer a single one. Well, you said this was the lightning round and I done been struck twice 
so I was keeping my distance. I'm sorry, Theo, but your score remains at zero. Yolanda and Pepe are tied at five correct answers. And that is the sound of our final round. We have one final category left, potent potables. Potent potables. We will now put various prophets to the test. I will show you a picture of a modern day prophet and you will identify whether he or she is a true false prophet. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Ready? That'd be Joseph Smith, the founder of the Church of the Latter-day Saints, better known as the Mormons. He added a whole nother book to the Bible, called it the Book of Mormon. Sure, he acknowledged that Jesus came in the flesh, but claimed that Jesus was the spirit brother of Satan. He says one day we're all going to become gods. He even made a number of dated prophetic predictions about men going on mission trips. That never happened. Churches to be built that never were, described battles which never took place, and even claimed the Native Americans were Jews, which they ain't. Well, correct, Theo, most impressive. I'm sorry, I'm a little stunned. How did you know that Joseph Smith was a false prophet? I may not be too good with numbers and such, but I can dang sure spot a fox in the hen house. Well, that buzzer means our time is up for today. The top score is Theo with 10 points, and he is our new champion of spiritual discernment. And don't get me started on some of them other vermin. You know, Charles Taz Russell, who founded Jehovah's Witness, prophesied the world would end in 1914. And then there's that Gene Dixon psychic lady who said a woman would be president in the 80s. And don't forget the three dates of Harold Camping predicting Jesus would be coming back and then there's... Okay, okay, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, follow these simple tests and you too can... Identify a false prophet! To get more answers for the end times, subscribe to this channel and please visit us at ChristinProphecy.org.